Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Uh, let's say that you are a kid playing on the playground and you're on the monkey bars and you're swinging from one to the next. And we wanna calculate what your speed is, your average sort of speed relative to the ground if you do that. So let's think about that problem for a second, right? Here is the top of the monkey bars. And as you swing, you go from this position, some theta, to the next position, also theta, and then you grab onto the next bar and repeat that process, okay? And if you do it again and again, you sort of map out this trajectory that looks something like that. Now, how do we calculate your average speed in this direction? Well, let's just take one cycle of it and see if we can figure that out. So, if I am uh, at a distance L away, because that's how long my arms are, and I'm swinging through an angle theta, what I really want is this horizontal distance. How far is that theta? Okay, we can probably do that. Let's draw it a little bit bigger right here. If that's theta and this is L, then this side of the triangle is L sine theta. But there's another one over on the other side, and that one's also L sine theta. Okay, so the distance that you've gone, the horizontal distance, is just 2L sine theta. Great. How long did it take you to do that? It took you a time, delta T. And how does that time relate to something that we know? So let's say something about how long this takes and see if we can relate it to the period of a pendulum, right? A pendulum will swing there and back in a period, capital T. And so if we wanna go half of that, the delta T that we're interested in is the period of a pendulum over two. So what is the period of a pendulum? Well, we know that it has to go like the length of the pendulum and gravity. And we probably remember that it's gotta have a square root in it. And there's a two pi floating around somewhere. And the two pi is in fact where? It's right here. All right, what do we get now? We get delta T equals T over two, so that's pi times square root L over G. And now we can calculate the speed because the speed is just how far you go over how long it takes. And we know all those numbers, two L sine theta divided by delta T, which we just said was pi square root L over G. And now we can plug in some numbers. So let's take a arm length of 0.9 meters. Let's say that that angle that you swing to is 20 degrees. And if you plug all those numbers in, you should get V is 0 0.65 meters per second. All right, try that one out yourself. Hopefully this is clear. Uh, if not, come see me in my office. Cheers.